Hello everybody, I'm back. Um, I'm making a new video on the updated version of UMO. Uh, it's quite advanced quite a bit. Um, the entire development team at OpenMW has done a lot for it. Um, so I'm on the beta.modding-openmw.com website. Um, if you remove this and go here, automatic install is still here. Uh, It'll work just fine now that it's here. I prefer being on the beta um, for this video anyways. But um, what you wanna do is on the main page, there's automatic install now is here. So you just choose the mod list like normal. Um, you can read any of it by opening all these links into a new tab and follow there. But once you find the one you wanna play, which I wanna play just good Morrowind, you click it, and then you do Linux, because that's what this video is for. And then it thanks you for picking it. FAQ is linked here. It'll take you, it'll, it'll explain any things about the, the game um, with any of the mods, if you don't want to read through them. And so first thing we want to do is install OpenMW. Uh, the prerequisite being having Morrowind. So you can have it on GOG as well, uh, or Steam. And you can install it from here, the stable one from here. Uh, or you can install the dev build, which I'm doing. And I'm doing the app image, which you can download from here. And then there's app image for stable. And there's app image for dev build. And I do the openmw-launcher. I already have it installed right here. Um, I'm just going to rename this real quick. There you go, I'm just gonna put it like that. Uh, once you have it installed, sometimes you might need to make sure you're allowed to execute it, or you might need to do dhmod plus x and then the file name that you set it to, and then you'll be able to open it, order it. Which, it wants you to grab this file. So you can put this right next to it. Um, let me remove all this. Open a WINI importer right here, nav mesh. Again, I'm just going to do all this. It would be nice if they included all of these like inside like a, a zip folder. Open it. So once we're done here, once you have it grabbed, now you want to install the MOMW tools pack, which is a new thing um, compared to compared to the last video. Uh, the tools pack contains all of the tools you need so you grab it and again we're doing linux uh everything that if you want to manually view something you can click on there and then it'll take you to their link um and then here's all the people who did it fall children johnny hostile john moonshaker benjamin winger waza bear and then uh johnny hostile again and benjamin winger and if you have any questions at all after this step or any issues that come up with the modding part, all users, everybody should go to the open modding openmw.com Discord channel. Um, give me one second. Users should go to this channel right here. This channel right here, and everything is available. Any help you need, uh, Gonzo's here, Johnny Hostile's here, Sophie is here as well. They are the the main people who I know uh, who help out a lot um, that in the sector, uh, they will help you if you need any help. Um, so click on it, whatever operating system you're on, download it. I've already downloaded it. And then once you extract it, it'll look like this. You'll have a readme folder. I deleted it. I don't, there's no reason to have it unless you want to read any of the instructions. But once you download it, we're done with this web page um, and now we can go down to here choose mod list again I actually, I actually closed mine so once you have it installed now we're going to get with UMO which is the replacement of UMO WD or something I can't remember so P7 zip is what you need to install I believe if you're on Debian, it would be something like sudo apt install 
P7-zip. Something you can also do for Linux anyways is 7z and then you can get 7z full as what I have. Or you can do P7 right there. Here's for void Linux users. They need to run this. And then once you have it installed, you want to go to the folder that you have and then CD into the directory. So I would do CD. I copy the address and now we're in here. LS, everything's here. So now we do dot slash UMO setup. And then it's going to say the authentication failed because you have to get your API key. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'll open it. Um, when you open it, so you can control click or you can just click. Um, it'll be at the very bottom of your page. And then as it says right here, when you paste it in, nothing will be shown here when you paste for security reasons. All right, so uh, apparently um, you can use this one at the very bottom, right above your personal API key. You can request it and then copy it instead of using your personal API key. Paste for security reasons. And it'll, I guess, stars right here now. Press enter. And now you want to find the path to Morrowind installation, which you can do this by, on Steam, right-clicking Morrowind, browse local files. Now, I always remove that slash. I have no idea if that's needed. And then you can copy the entire folder location. And now we can do Control shift v paste it. And then now you can make a folder wherever you want your mod list to be. So for me, I'm going to go right here. I'm going to title this mod list. Uh, you can title it whatever you want, but I just name it this. Again, copy the folder location, paste it. And then now a cache DIR location if you would like this. It'll say where its default location is, so I'm just going to leave it there. All right. So now that we're now that we're here, we can now continue along. So I'm going to install like again, just good more one. So whatever mod list you chose up here, it's going to set it the correct way for you. So copy the next for syncing data. And now it'll sync all the data. And then dot slash UMO setup, or I guess check. Everything's here. That's something you want to do. Unrar or UNR, you don't need it. 7-zip does just fine. Um, and then what you can do is if you have premium, um, I don't know if he made it this way or if I need to, yeah. Okay. You don't need to do anything. And I got fall child to add threaded downloads. Uh, they do go faster, um, and it will work. So this is just a waiting game. You're just gonna have to wait for everything to finish on your own. Uh, it's estimated size. They finally added this. So, just good more one is estimated to be 11 gigabytes. Uh, download size being 3.9, and then extracted full size 7.1. So it'll make sure you have enough space. It'll download and install everything. Extract now. I had a little help in this part of changing how it was done or requesting how it was done. Um, but big shout out to fall child for staying up to date and continuing the support on this. It's extracting the last and that's it. We have, we have installed it. So when the UMO is finished, you may proceed to the next section. So you want to run configurator. Do not open, do not run the OpenMW launcher and then enable every plugin you have downloaded. That is something you do need to do. Do not enable every plugin you have downloaded. 
you, the MOMW configurator will enable all required plugins and data paths. You should not need to reorder anything or enable anything. The flat ver pack version of OpenW is not supported, which is the main reason why I recommend the app image. So we're already here. We're already CD'd inside of here again. So um, what you need to do is if you're using the OpenMW dev build, it's on here. You need to make sure which one you're doing. 0.48 is right here. And then 0.49 is right here. You want to copy and still be inside the folder. Control V. Okay, honestly, my bad. Um, so what it's asking, uh, anyways, is it's asking for the um, open of the I and I import. I'm going to do the copy location. Copy location. I don't know if I need to do all of it. So, okay. Nav mesh tool. Copy location. Again, just the same thing as we did before. Permission denied. So most likely what happened is I need to go into here. Permissions allow executable. And then permissions here allows executable. Again, you can do, um, you can do the chmod plus x to do this as well. So let's rerun. Or I don't know why I did that. Rerun it. Running Delta plugin. And it, it does almost everything on its own for you. And again, like I said, I got these from the same area as the OpenMW launcher. And then you just need I and I importer and nav mesh tool. Um, and that's about it. It's going to spit out a lot of stuff in the console. You can completely ignore it. Um, again, it's be right here. Configure to ensure some settings for the settings.cfg file that are required. I have a modified playlist. However, plenty of users like to customize. It is vitally important you do not edit the settings.cfg while the launcher is open. Also, do not open the launcher while the settings.cfg file is still open in the text editor. We recommend hovering over each option in the settings menu of the launcher to decide whether you want to toggle on or off. You should read the official documentation. The official documentation being all of this. Um, I don't have any plans to modify it. You might. So I highly recommend you go through here and like fonts or stuff on here. Um, tells you how to configure stuff. Font size right there. So yes, that's, that's how it is. So the getting started tweak pages will highlight some of the options as well. Performance recommended tweaks, but this should already all be set by the configurator. So reapply these values. So last but not least, run the game and see how it looks. Subscribe here, click spawn. Once you're in the game, view distance slider. Yeah. So this is just telling you that you can run the game. There's view distance slider um, for distant lands, which helps out a lot. Um, and then there is a warning about updating. It is not advised to update mods. If you have an already in progress save game or mid playthrough, um, I I don't recommend it either. I tried, and that's it. Um, this is still going. We're just gonna have to wait for it to finish. But if you do ever want to update your mod list, run the cache sync command. It'll grab any of the new files, and then just install. Uh, all of the commands are down here. And again, if you are going to choose, let's say, graphics overhaul. And now, now these are changed. So all of your commands are set the way how they should be. So while we wait for this guy, it finished. No problems detected. Everything's fine. And so now, if we go into here, last but not least, Everything is configured how it should be. So we can now open, open up W, new. Stand
stand out. There you go. You were dreaming. And now we're What's in your game. name? Everything's here. The view distance is a detail level. Um, and this is just a far. If you want a further one, which I'm not sure if it turned it on or not, go into settings. Um, and then visuals. Terrain. Distant lands. That's something you might want. Um, it's totally up to you. I set my object paging minimum size to 0 0.02, and then I set my cells to 7. And then that's it. You have now set up OpenMW. That was really fast. Um, I haven't done this guide, and I haven't done this before, but that was pretty easy and painless to set up. 